Good morning and welcome back to Flint Creek Transport. We're just getting ready to head out it's about five o'clock in the morning here and go pick up truck number 151. First stop, guys, is Wilkins. Wilkins is where we used to buy our trailers from, and we still get quite a few parts from them. And I know sometimes I always, you know, maybe not say the nicest things about Wilkins, and I wish them success. It's just in our application, the Wilkins trailers do not hold up uh, because of the rust and uh, the corrosion that happens in these trailers. So, not that I'm wishing anybody bad luck, it's just, the Wilkins trailers, the brand, they do not build them all aluminum. So they sell uh, Sherco tarp systems and we still get tarps from them. We get ah, just different things here and there. So stopping in today for a sweep tarp, actually like 10 sweep tarps. Nice little ride pulling in. Here it is. Got it running, ready to go. Like I said, guys, this is a 99 Kenworth. Pretty sweet truck. I've seen cleaner trucks. I've seen trucks in worse shape. I'd say this is probably middle of the road. Needs a little bit of work. A couple things we'll do to it before we get it on the road. One of the first things it needs is fuel. We're gonna run it up to a fuel stop get some fuel i'm not gonna drive i'm gonna drive eventually but my partner's gonna run uh gonna start out driving it back we're gonna hit the road here shortly i pretty much you know what we decided we're taking it and i think this will be a good truck for what we want to do with it this is going to be a local delivery truck probably pulling flatbed so still don't even know if i'm going to put a wet line on it definitely got a little bit of rust on the frame doesn't scare me too bad we have some trucks that are in worse shape than this parts of this truck that are clean Let's see like this back end talking and worst case scenario if we can't make it back I'll have to hook a rope up to my hemi pull it pull it back with the hemi we stopped just north of Quaker town 309 truck stop kind of a little hole in the wall but you know what they got diesel Good morning guys what a beautiful day here in upstate new york just a tad chilly but it still feels great good enough for a short sleeve shirt so we made it back with this truck unfortunately due to some or due to a bad sd card in my gopro <laughs> i didn't get i got i lost a bunch of footage so we made it back and actually we got some of the lettering off of it already so 
it's back guys now it's time to you know go to work on it and fix some of these little things up i'm hoping you know we don't have to put a wet line on this truck this is uh we're gonna run this truck on flatbed for now and it's gonna be a delivery truck with uh, they're going to deliver pavers with it so there's no need for a wet line that's going to save us some time and we're going to kind of keep it pretty local so in case there is something wrong with it we can always you know bring it back to the shop or limp it back but we'll try to go through it the best we can and try to limit that so sometimes it just takes a, a couple weeks to work out the bugs and the kinks on some of these older trucks and we'll be good to go coming back through the truck had good power, ran great. And I will say it is a 475 cat with 10 speed. I think it's a 475, you know, from what the owner knows, they didn't do any like turning up the power, stuff like that. So I don't, you know, what do you, what do you know exactly on these trucks? But 475 cat with a 10 speed, super 10, 390 ratio. So it's geared a little bit more for local interior is beautiful in it yet exterior's definitely got some rust but not too bad it's definitely something we can work with and i'll tell you guys when i'm looking at a truck i say again i repeat many times is don't look at the chrome that's on it if you look at some of the exterior stuff on this truck you can see it's missing a grill bar the visor is just a regular stock visor you know pipes are nothing fancy just you know it's it's a lot of factory stuff even the, the three lights underneath the door are factory and i can tell you right now why i like to buy things that are stock or that are factory it means so much more to me when a truck is stock if this truck would have had a bumper on it with a whole bunch of lights extra lights on the on the breathers extra lights underneath the doors you know some crazy exhaust here's what happens is a lot of times that stuff we have to take off exhaust for example you know if they're too tall we got to take them off especially if it's a local truck if it's lights and things like that they tap into the wiring harness and sometimes that is not a good thing especially if if these people don't know what they're doing and I, I I stay away from that especially trucks in the south the guys can just you know get by with not fancy wiring at all so up here we got to use butt connectors heat shrink tube you know the whole nine yards to make sure that these wires stay together and they don't corrode so I've seen we've seen guys do wire nuts I mean just simple simple stuff to hold wiring together that it's not gonna last up here I know this grill's stock. I'll just put another bar in there. We can fix that up. The visor, we start out stock. If we want to change the visor, we can put on something that we want. And the bumper is a stock bumper. We don't have to change out the bumper. I don't have unnecessary lights hanging out there. So when I'd get a truck, let's say it had all those extras on, you know, there's stuff we'd have to rip off. And then there'd be, we actually bought one truck, truck number 104, come out of New Jersey, and it had a lot of extra lights on that truck when we got it and what a headache with the wiring on that truck so we finally got that a lot of those headaches figured out and yeah i uh, i try not to look for extras exterior extras on a truck we can do that ourselves that's easy because i don't want to mess with a broken into wiring harness headlights all of a sudden not working and, and crazy stuff like that so the more stock when buying a used truck the better I don't like when guys mess with the engines. I can tell you right now, I do not like high horsepower motors. With these cats, you can put high horsepower in them, you can turn them up, you can crank them up, all that good stuff. You can put injector codes, you can do bigger turbos, uh, I don't know, marine cam, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? These cats cannot handle heat. I tell you, heat kills an engine. It reduces the life of an engine. So you put all this horsepower, the horsepower is going to build heat and the heat is going to reduce the longevity of the engine we've learned the hard way and i'll tell you in some applications it does work but in our application it doesn't this truck hooked to that trailer here in upstate new york we can haul 102,000, and new york state is fairly flat but we definitely got some hills in the throughway and i'll tell you all it takes is one time with the marine cam or marine injectors in this truck and an inexperienced driver and that motor is toast thirty thousand dollars down the tube so i see a truck for sale with 600 horsepower or 700 horsepower 
more than what's at what's stock I, I don't even want to touch it or I plan on you know rebuilding the motor I, I, I don't even want to mess with trucks like that so I know sorry I'm a party pooper and I don't like to have fun with these trucks with high horsepower but that's the reality of it I have to pay the bills on these trucks yeah high horsepower is fun but high horsepower kills motors that's the long and short of it you know I can't tell you a lot about motors I'm not like a motorhead I have to know a lot of different things and telling you how to rebuild a motor I, I couldn't rebuild a motor myself but I can tell you some of the things that we've learned and that's what we've learned in the past owner operators you're paying your own bills you want to turn the horsepower up more power to you but for our fleet I stay away from that and I'm not saying we don't have inexperienced drivers we have a lot of great drivers but all it takes is one time one time and you're done I am you know you get up beside a truck and you want to go around them and you think you know what you're just gonna put your pedal in, you know put your foot into the pedal and uh, get on it get around this truck well that could be the time just a warning guys if your truck engine stays stock especially these cats 475 cats they will last you a long long time 550s won't last as long but again take care of them all depends what you're doing and uh, you'll still get a long a long time out of them so there you have it guys my two cents we're gonna get this truck in get it going i love the paint scheme on it it'll fit right in with our fleet and i really think that that color blue is a canyon blue it looks almost like those other trucks very identical i didn't get to park beside any of the trucks yet but we'll see what this thing looks like with flint creek lettering on it and guys if you have bought a used truck recently let me know your experience you know what are some things that you look for did you have good experiences bad experiences let me know in the comments thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next one peace out